Welcome to Comparisons. Let's learn about comparisons. Equal equal sign is the equality operator. So it, do, it is two equal signs next to each other. A single equal sign is the assignment operator that you use with variables. But when you want to see if two values are equal, you use two equal signs. And the equality operator goes between values, and it compares the left value to the right value to determine if they are equal to each other or not. Here's an example. If health equal equal 100, so that's checking to see if the function health, which returns a number, if that return number is the same as 100. If those are equal, this condition will be true and you'll go to the banana. Let's look at an example. Here's an example where the monkey wants to get those five bananas, uh, but the gorilla does not want the monkey to get those bananas and, and is going to start throwing things at the monkey. So we need to make sure the monkey's at its best health. So uh, we have this little health zone object here that we can go to to get more energy. So we are going to, um, for B and bananas, so we're looping through the different bananas, we're going to go to the health zone and we're going to want to wait here until our health is 100. Okay, so that means we want to say until and our condition is going to be, I think, health. We're going to check our health. That returns a number. And we're going to compare it with the equality operator to 100. OK, so until it's 100, we're just going to wait. And when it's, get rid of this, when it's um, actually 100, we'll leave the until and go to the banana. Let's go try that. And up here it will tell you its health number. So I think it's going to be going back to the health zone a lot. Yeah, that gorilla is really beating up the monkey. <laughs> Has to go back a lot. But I think you see the, what's going to happen here. We'll get all the bananas and three stars. Is less than is another comparison operator. It goes between values. Is less than, that symbol, determines if the left value is less than the right value. So for example, in an if statement, we could have a condition like this. Health, remember, is a function that returns a number. So if health is less than 70, it will run the indented code, which in this case says, I am weak. Else, and you're going to reach this else if health is greater than 70, or even if it's equal to 70, you would reach this else and you would and you would execute the indented code, which in this case says I am strong. Let's look at an example. Here's an example where the monkey wants to get a bunch of bananas, but we have the gorilla that's going to get in the way. So we'll need to go to the health zone. So let's see how we're going to do this. Here we have a for loop um, where we're going through each of the bananas. We're going to go and get a banana, and then we want to check to see if the health is lower than 70, and then do something about it if it is. So let's see, if our condition would be health is less than 70, all right, what do we want to do? We want to basically go to the health zone. And while there, we're going to wait until 
our health is equal to 100. Okay, we'll wait until that's true. Delete these two lines. And when that is true, we'll just go back up to the for loop and get the next banana and then check all of this again. Let's see if that works. All right, looking good. Okay, oops, it has to go back again. Oh, we got it. Now it's your turn to use comparisons. Good luck.